Hey. Good evening, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and tonight I am with Amy and Charmaine and Ian and Kimberly. And uh, we just came back from our service and I thought it was a nice service. It went on a little bit longer than expected so that's why we are starting late tonight. So uh, before we jump in and start to minister, I want to encourage you to write your name in the comments and we will prophesy a word that edifies, exhorts and comforts you. So I want to ask Charmaine if she is comfortable with it. I probably should have asked before the, the, the recording start. I want to come sit please Amy. Uh, I want to ask her to... Um, are you right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask Charmaine to share just a word of encouragement that she shared with us tonight at the church. And so Charmaine, you don't have to be one minute, take your time and just share what, what God is uh, showing you. I say. Okay, so whilst worshipping, God showed me this picture of I saw like the world. Then I saw on top of the world, I saw like a dark cloud. And I felt like the dark cloud was represented by the evil. And I just saw like how God showed me how like a company of, of, of Christians, believers, came in unity and they started to hold hands. And when they started to hold hands, I've just felt like how God showed me how they're declaring life over their circumstances, over their family, just declaring life over everything. And I just felt like how God showed me that as soon as they started to declare life, it's like a, a pillow started to for, form over them. And it was like a thick pillow started to form over them. And it started to like create like a protection barrier. And I just saw like as well that when the opposite happened, when they started to declare like negative things and declare things that's not from God, how like it, it started to create like a gap. And I just felt like our God is saying, what are you declaring today? And then I just felt like our God is saying that you need to start to focus on the vision that God has got in store mm -hmm. for you, the vision that God is showing you. Because when you, when you are aligning with God's vision, you will declare life over your circumstances and you will speak life over your circumstances. And I just see like how God shows me that by prevailing and, and beating the evil, it's be, but because of the words that you're speaking and speaking life over things as well. Then I also saw, I didn't see that in church, but I saw that as well, how God showed me that our, our, our souls is like weak, is tired. But when we start to operate in the spirit, even though our fleshly desires and even though our flesh feels weak, and tired but when we start to operate by the spirit how God shows me that that all these things will come easily for us to walk in the spirit and to declare the things of the spirit of what God wants us to declare hey. awesome thank you very much uh, Charmaine um, I'm gonna if you don't mind just cut it into a short a little video and I'll post it maybe on on Ian's channel for him yeah that is wonderful thank you very much um, you should actually do it more uh, it's very uplifting all right so uh, we're gonna jump in we're gonna minister tonight to minimum let's say 40 people uh, maybe if we push it a, a few more let's see how it goes all right um so the first person i want to minister to is kalerani uh, so what the lord is showing to me uh, is um, a bowl with plants in it and oh, a, a pot plant, but a, a quite a big one. Uh, and then it's all green, green plants. But then there's one plant which is a flower, and it's beautiful flower, full of color. And I see how the Lord has placed you as one to bring color, to bring life, to bring laughter and joy, uh, and um, creativity and beauty among that greenery uh, that's in that pot plant. Then the Lord shows me how everything in that pot plant gets transferred out of the pot plant into the garden and then it gets planted and then it can grow a lot bigger and faster and more and also uh, produce fruit and so I felt that the Lord says where you are contained right now you are blooming you are being colorful but the Lord is going to take that containment away as he plants you and he places you in a place where you can really grow and prosper God bless you Amen. God bless you, Corey. God loves you. This next word is for Christine. 
um, Christine, God loves you very much. And I just saw a picture of how the Lord comes and He gives you peace. I just feel like there's a lot of sleepless nights you've been having. And I just feel there's just a supernatural peace and restoration that God is giving to you. And He wants to heal you. And I, and I just feel how the Lord is really preparing you. And He's saying to you, you feel tired because your spirit is tired. And I just feel God wants to like um, ignite the fire within your heart. He wants to... Um, Pour gasoline on that fire, oil over you so that you can burn brighter for Him. But you need to come into His presence so He can refill you. And I just feel there's been a lot of giving that's been happening into your life. And I just feel the Lord says, I want you to come to me in my presence and I want to refill you, um, refill your tank. Um, God has called you to overflow and be a giver. Um, but I, I just feel there's a, there were a few holes like in a, in a bucket that when God was pouring and then it would it would flow out and I just feel the Lord says he is um, completely restoring this bucket he's taking away the holes so that it can overflow in the top and you will always be full when you give when you minister when you mentor because God has called you for that and I just feel how the Lord is really strengthening this bucket for more because you've been desiring and asking God for more so I just feel that's the process he's doing but just like um, if I could describe it just like Abraham slept or um, well when Adam slept and then God did something wonderful and I just saw how you slept and then God did that healing and restoration in your life. God loves you. God bless you. Uh, next word is with Tasha and I salted. Tasha and when I prayed for you and uh, God just showed me how you are allowing a, a stream like a stream or a, a channel in to, to contaminate your river and I just felt like God, God is saying that he wants you to close that stream close that channel because I see like how this dirty water how this hazardous material that's coming into your river it's like taking the life out of your river I just see like how God shows me that when you clean this when you close like this contamination when you stop this contamination how God comes with like a he opens like the sluice gate and he takes away all the hazardous stuff for you and I see like how new life starts to to come into your river but I feel like our God is saying this is a choice that you have to make you have to say today is the day that I stop this contamination to happen and I also feel like our God is just saying that you need to speak life over your life life over your circumstances and you just need to stay in his presence stay at his feet whenever it feels like it becomes too difficult and it feels like you don't know what the choices if you're making the choices the right choices just remember that when you stay close to god when you stay close to his voice that you'll know which choices are the right ones to make be blessed thank you tasha and i for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for dominica dominica the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i don't know if you like it but anyway the picture that i saw for you was these uh, I don't know what you call it, but on the amusement parks you go into this cage and it spins around and it spins around upside down all the way and because of the effect of uh, g-force you're pushed to the side and you don't really have to be tightened you can just go in all the directions and you will still stay in position that's the effect that God's love has got in your life even though your life may be upside down it may be uh, very fast it may be a uh, rough God's love will always keep you in place. So you're all, always secure. So it doesn't matter when you see things working out or not working out. That is not determining God's love for you. God's love is your safety. God's love is there for you. God is making a promise to you that He'll keep you safe. Meaning, He'll keep you intact. Even when things look like it doesn't go right, you'll see you will still always be safe. Be blessed. Amen, Dominica. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Daniela. Daniela, uh, the I see the I just I just hear the words. See the strongholds being broken. The Lord says, "Have faith. Declare that these strongholds will be broken in your life. That these barriers that you feel that you cannot reach." Or that you cannot cross this bridge that you cannot cross i hear the lord saying declare it already now in faith and speak it when you speak it it um it will be so because the the lord shows me very clearly that he has a, a huge plan for you to break through i see how you are walking in wisdom you are walking in in faith and you are walking in light and you are walking most of all like in joy and in peace and the Lord says, I have spoken that over you. And now you need to speak that over to yourself and declare what he is saying. Because he is already speaking stuff over you. 
and when you are saying other stuff like saying oh this is so hard I can't get through you are like contradicting the word of the Lord he is saying that you are prosperous and that you will make it through so start de declaring that be blessed uh, Daniel, uh, God bless you his hand is upon you and the Lord shows me a flower that opens up uh, God bless you um, so family if you have a prayer request you can write it in the comments and I want to ask each one that are listening tonight just um, when you see a prayer request just please um, uh, write down your prayer uh, uh, pray for that prayer request and just write a short little response to the person that wrote that prayer request just say this is what I saw when I prayed and I bless you and just so that they know that someone is praying let's bless each other uh, when we are in the comments it's always important for me that we love each other that we bless each other that we that we are a unit as a family the more we are in unity the more God opens up the portal for his glory to pour out in our lives and so that's why it's important for us to be connected of course God bless unity all right so the next person is that I want to minister to is Joshua Weimel all right Joshua the Lord shows me two wires the positive and a negative wires and how they are connected and how there is current and there is a flow and a supply of God in your life and the Lord says son I'm increasing the level of the power that's in your life that flows through you and you're going to see healing you're going to see the wisdom of God words of knowledge counsel even prophetic word flowing out of your life then the Lord shows me an older person like a father figure in your life and how this person sees the potential in your life and he says I want to invest in you and that person uh, bless you with finances and also a partner with you in your life so that you can move forward and there's also a return for them uh, but they see the potential in you and they uh, love you and they want to invest in your life and I just see a massive opportunity and so the Lord says it's not necessary for you to go and make lots of financial loans but trust in him you will make a way for you to get the resources that you need so that you can move forward god bless you joshua amen joshua that was such a powerful word i i really love that word god love you god loves you god bless you this next word is for marie marie god loves you very much and i just saw um moment i started praying for you i saw candy and sweetness but the candy was hard and strong and i just feel the lord says you are sweet but you are strong and i i just feel god is has called you to be a warrior in his army but to uh, I just feel there's a sweetness and fragrance and the enemy is trying to steal that from you but I just feel the Lord says don't give up don't lose the sweetness that I've placed in you the gifts that I've given you I've called you to abide in my secret place and then I see how um, you intercede for a lot of people that are, that are like in drought and I see how you like pray for rain you pray for Holy Spirit revival um, finances and I just see how the Lord just comes because he loves you and the Lord Lord hears your words. So I just want to encourage you. God has given you an anointing for prayer. Um, so keep on praying. Keep on speaking life because it's truly an anointing on your life. God bless you, Mary. God loves you. Oh, next word is for Jock van Heerden. Jock, God loves you so much. I just feel like how God is saying that you do not need to focus on your finances. Do not need to focus on do you, if you've got enough for next month or I just feel like our God is saying that you are not connected to worldly finances, but I feel like our God is saying that your source comes directly from heaven. I see like our God shows me like it's like a floodgate is being opened from heaven. And I specifically see like our God shows me like how that floodgate is blessed. I see like how is the stream of water coming down, but the stream of water is like covered with anointing oil. And I see like the finances and the, the resources that God shows me that is giving you is like anointed resources. I see like how when that resources hits you or um, comes to you and when it goes out, the, the anointing starts to, to spread. I see like how it's oil that starts to flow out of, from 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 you to other people and i just see like our god is saying that you just need to focus and 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 put your eyes towards jesus have faith and believe that he he's he's there for you and that he will provide for you be blessed thank you jock for being here tonight please remember write us a comment thank you for the ones that are writing comments it's nice to read it it's encouraging and it also builds up the faith of other people that are new to receive words and to believe in the word as well the next word is for Petronella. Petronella, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I see how the Lord puts a crown on you, um, a crown of, uh, to have a, the mental state of 
continual worship, meaning all of your thoughts that you're going to have is based on worship. Sometimes you hear people have a positive mindset, a negative mindset, but you have a worship mindset. And, I, and that's what the Lord wants to, you to have in your life. A lot of things will make sense to you, but not to other people. But stay in that mindset. Allow the Lord to influence you the way you think, the way you respond. To, and I just see because of that, there's so much things that's going to flow out of you. It's going to bless people without your intentions even being to bless people. You're just doing it because this is how, how you've become. And that is what the Lord wants in your life. Be blessed. Amen, Ms. Petunella. Please leave us a comment. This what is for Mariette. Um, Mary, the Lord shows the the Lord shows me how how He says um, what do you say that you mm, mm, I see it I just can't say it. Um, the Lord shows me how you are serving so much and how He says He loves it. But don't let the serving be your time with the Lord. Don't let it be your, the only time with the Lord. I hear Him saying, as you serve, as you are still with me. But I hear Him saying even i want you to be even more so with me when we are alone when you are just with you and the lord because that is really a time where you get so much for, it's it's that's when you get refilled when you can get refilled with the word of the lord with his with his glory with his holiness and that is where you can lay it all down at his feet is when you are alone with jesus and when he can speak to you when he can minister into your life i hear the lord saying um even when you are serving, you are ministering to others, and that is wonderful. But don't forget to spend your time with the Lord. Be blessed. Uh, Mariette, uh, God bless you. Family, uh, we're going to minister to every single name that's placed on the comments. Uh, so um, the first 40 people we're going to minister to tonight, and then we're going to have communion together. And then all the names afterwards, we're going to record a separate video, and I'll post it. So I'm not far ahead with names. I actually need more names of people that would like to receive ministry. So you're very welcome. If you'd like to receive ministry, uh, even if you felt, oh, I don't want to impose on other ones that are going to get a word. So I, I don't want to put my name. If you would like to receive ministry, please write your name in the comments. And then I would love to minister the word of the Lord uh, to you. Uh, so uh, also, if you see a prayer request in the comments, you are welcome to pray for one another. Uh, so the next word is for Christina the Toy. Uh, Christina, uh, the Lord is showing to me how He's pouring His anointing over you, how He's uh, just making and renewing your heart. And so the Lord gives us in the Bible a, a, a promise in Jeremiah that He will uh, take out a heart of stone and He will put, put in a heart of flesh and He will write His laws on, his, on our hearts. And I see how the Lord is doing that tonight afresh in your life. And, and I know you've been through this process a few times. But I just see how the Lord is doing it again. And the Lord says, I'm not only giving you a new heart, but I'm giving you a lot of capacity uh, to love people and to have patience with people and allow the fruit of the Holy Spirit to flow you. Uh, through you. God bless you, Christina. Amen. God bless you, Christina. God loves you. This next word is from Martin. Hi, Martin. God loves you so much. And um, while praying for you, you know those very um, those generals in armies or very accomplished um, soldiers when they have all those badges on them. Um, and I just saw a picture of how you have a desire to be accomplished. You have a desire to do your duties and do what you need to do, um, um, what God has called you to do for your life. And I see how you come into the presence of God and you say, God, how can I get these badges? How can I decorate my jacket, uh, my my um, my coat, my my blazer? And then I just see how God says, "There's a lot of badges that I'm going to give you, and a lot of badges that you are going to earn for me." But I, I just feel the Lord says, "There's a lot of things that are gifts to you that you will grow, but things that the Lord is just going to give." And I just feel the Lord says, "Let me decorate you with my glory and with the Word." There's a lot of things that I want to give you that are actually not earned, not, not earned. It's given gifts for you because you are my son and I love you and I feel there's a lot of things that you're trusting for in your life that you're working so hard for but a majority of it is just it's given so I want to encourage you God is inviting you into his presence for you to receive those gifts but also God is giving you the wisdom he's giving you the courage he's giving you the love and filling up your tank so that you can um, pursue the things that he has called you for God loves you so much Martin I really want to encourage you to receive those gifts and badges that God has for you in your life God bless you our next word is for Jane Coop. Jane, God loves you so much. When I prayed for you, I saw like five things. I saw like how God showed me finances, 
family, vision, um, ministry, but the, the fifth one that I saw like prayer and I felt like how God showed me like prayer is the most important one because I saw like how the fifth one prayer is like it covered like all of them all the questions that you have like on the other one other ones I see like how just God shows me that all of that will be answered in prayer I see like how God shows me that how you're like going into like a, a new vision area uh, praying for vision and I just see like our God shows me that you're, while you're doing like um, like a fast and you're like intimately praying, how God shows me how He shows you like a vision of how you're going forward, how He shows you just the things that you've been asking for. And I just specifically see like how God shows me as well while you're praying, how God shows me that He's filling you up, He's making you more holy and not not that you're not holy but i just see like how god shows me how he's like making you anointed he's filling you with anointing oil and i just see like how that prayer because it's so more important how god shows me like your your fuel tank is like running on empty and god shows me how it's becoming fuller and fuller and fuller when you spend more time in prayer be blessed Thank you, Jane, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. And thank you for the ones that are writing comments, speaking, blessings, encouraging, and just helping God's community to grow. The next word is for Thomas. Thomas, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a light curtain, a curtain full of light, and how you are curious and you walk through this curtain of light, and it's the veil that has been torn. And I just see how you step into the presence of God and you're awestruck, you just fall on your face and you start to worship the Lord and at that point your restoration starts. I see you need to be curious enough to push through. You need to push through to go through the veil. Sometimes religion has kept us from going through the veil uh, and brought tremendous restrictions but I just see go through the veil. When you go through the veil things will be rectified in your life. Restoration, renewal, a lot of things that you need but push through, keep on. The Lord says, it is open. He's waiting for you. He wants you to be restored, to, re be, to be renewed and to be revived. Be blessed. Amen, Thomas. Please, please, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Mary. Mary, the Lord shows me this bowl of pears and how they look very, very nice. They look so shiny and they look so delicious. And like when you taste them, the Lord, I just, I just see how, how it's so bitter and it doesn't taste how it looks. And I hear the Lord saying that don't let your eyes deceive you of, oh, this looks good, this must be good, this must, this must taste good, this must end well, this must be the right way. I hear the Lord saying in this next um, couple of months, or just for, for the rest of your life, use wisdom, use the Holy Spirit, because he, he is always talking to you. Use his wisdom that he is giving to you. And I see how he is so open with you to, to tell you, but sometimes... Uh, Sometimes the, 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 the niceness of something is very loud, but I hear the Lord saying, quiet that voice and hear the, the Holy Spirit's voice. We will tell you, yes, this is good. You may eat it. Be blessed. Okay. Mary, God bless you. Uh, family, uh, it's wonderful that so many of you are writing your names in the comments. Uh, there's already uh, more than 50 names that's been written in the comments. So tonight we're ministering to the first 40. And then all the names after, I'm going to make a separate video uh, that I'm going to record. I'll probably do it with other Amy or with Ian and we'll sit and we'll minister to each one of you and we'll post that video. So I want to encourage you, um, uh, I don't have, I, I've got that extra 10 names so I can do with another 10 or 20 names. It's wonderful for me to minister every day to 10 people so that it helps me uh, also to be obedient to God. So if you would like to receive ministry, just write your name. I will minister uh, with Ian, with Amy to you but right now we've already filled our quota for this video. Uh, so the next person I want to minister to is Kamla. All right. uh, so Kamla, uh, the Lord is showing to me how He is putting His spiritual covering over your life. And so I felt you're going to meet people that are spiritually mature, that will love you, that will encourage you, that will pray for you, and even give you counsel. And uh, they will form in your, in your life uh, a, a, a hedge of protection and the Lord is giving those people to you in your life all right then the Lord showed me your education and I saw a certificate that you can get or an education that you need to complete but it's not done yet and the Lord showed me how you get that uh, that uh, certificate and that 
completion of that education and that again open up doors for you but more than that it also tell you in your own mind I can do it and the Lord says I know you can do it you are an overcomer you're already doing it but the Lord says complete that training and then doors will more doors will open up for you and come under that that spiritual covering that protection that I'm giving to you God bless you Amen. God loves you. God bless you, Kamla. God loves you so much. This next word is for Amanda. Amanda, while praying for you, I saw a picture of a very strong vine. And you know, the word says that God is the vine and we are the branches. And I saw how your branch is actually really strong and how you can grow. And you're like such a, like a, when you are going that way, you, you run that way. Like this is the direction I'm going. I'm putting all my energy into this. And I just see how the Lord is really directing you and say no don't go there go there and it's just like as a, as a branch how God is really um, training you how to to grow and how you know when pot when when you're working with pottery and then you like add more water to it so the pot is more flexible and I just see how you come to God and say God um, sprinkle water on me so I can be teachable so I can still expand and not set right now because I know in your heart you feel like there's so much more and I feel God is saying to you there's so much more and then I just feel how God is saying to you that you are strong through me. I'm calling you to build a house on my foundation, um, on, on the rock. And I just feel how God is really, Holy Spirit is really speaking to you right now of how to build, how to grow, how to expand. And I just feel the Lord is saying, I'm right now preparing your heart, but it's all through me. God loves you so much. God bless you. Our next word is for Jan van Neker. Jan, when I prayed for you, I saw God showed me this vision of, I saw like an elastic cord and I saw like how God showed me that somebody is like starting to stretch out this cord and it's it's stretching and stretching and stretching and when just when you think like it's like finished stretching it can go a bit more so I feel like our God is saying you th you think it's finished but it can go a bit more I see like how God shows me that in the stretching process how God shows me that growth is happening even though it feels like difficult being like stretched out so far, it feels like you can't handle it anymore. God says that you can go a little bit more. I see like how God shows me that how he's opening up his hands around you. And I feel like how the hands around you just like represents a covering that God is creating over you. That that it feels like when you're alone and it feels like like I can't take the stretching anymore. God is saying, my hands are there to comfort you, to help you, to guide you, to protect you. You can take a bit mm. more. Be blessed. Thank you, Jan, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We'd love to read it. The next mm -hmm. word is for Jeremy. Jeremy, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Um, I just see renewal, renewal, restoration in your life. And I just see how God wants to bring revival into your, your soul um, and I just see even though things may not feel like it's working out right now I see a picture of a, a, a house that is built on sticks and you want to to build the top part first but uh, you, you're not so focused on the foundation I just see how God says I'm focusing on the foundation so even though you may feel it's it, things are going slow it's not working out as you expected God is actually creating a very strong foundation in your life so that the dreams that you build on will be solid it will be concrete it will be secured and i just see just bear with the lord he's building your character and it's it's producing good fruit in you even though some days you just want to you want to live two years in the future so just step, take a step back and trust the lord and allow what is working in you and through you and enjoy what he's doing in and through you because you know it will bring a lasting life be blessed Amen. Jeremy, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Maritza. The Lord shows, I hear the Lord saying, she will dream dreams like Joseph. And, and the Lord shows me exactly that, how you are going to dream these amazing, very vivid and very clear dreams. And the Lord shows me that He's not only going to give you the dreams, but He's also going to give you the wisdom to to share the dreams because it's it's one thing to get something and it's another thing to say it but the Lord shows me how he's going to give you confidence to speak what he is saying and to who he wants you to say it to but I see very clearly that you are going to dream dreams be blessed okay. um, Maritza, uh, God bless you I, um, the next word is for Francois van die Kerk uh, so Fra Francois you know when you're going to bake a bread or you break a cake 
uh, it's a long process to to prepare the dough and then to knead it and then let it rise and to knead it again and then let it rise a second time and then before you can put it into the oven and the Lord shows me 2024 in your life was like a year where you were preparing the dough you were uh, letting the bread rise and then you were kneading it again and it was a very tough year because you had to put a lot of um, effort in without uh, a lot of return right? but then in 2025 I see how the Lord is putting the heat on and how He's helping you to put that bread into the oven and how it grows and it bakes and it produces fruit and afterwards the bread comes out and it smells nice and it tastes nice and you can bless lots of people uh, that can eat from the bread and so I felt that the Lord says a lot of the fruit that you're going to receive in 2025 is going to be because of the sacrifice and the sowing that happened in 2024. God bless you Francois. Amen. God bless you Francois. God loves you so much. This next word is for Lydia. Lydia, the Lord loves you very much and you have such a strong name. Um, Lydia, while praying for you, I just... Um, I, I just saw how God gave you like these drums and you're like, God, I'm not really a drummer. I'm more of like a dancer or a worshiper. But I just saw God um, really wanted you to. So, so like every musician, it's so important for a person to know how to um, drum or keep rhythm and beat. Um, I, I learned a little bit of drums so it could help me with my piano playing and worship. But it, I, I just feel the Lord says that I'm calling you to bring unity to people so they can be uh, in sync with me. And I just feel how the Lord says, um, expect surprises this year. And I, and I just feel God is taking you out of the loop of, you know, the everyday life. We, we, you, you wake up, you do your thing, and then you go to bed and it's like the same thing every day. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm taking you on a Holy Spirit adventure where you're going to minister. You're going to meet a lot of new people. And there's going to be a lot of healings and spontaneous things that God is going to do through your life. I feel like you have such a big desire. Like, God, I want to do miracles. I want to be used by you through healing. And I just feel the Lord says, I heard you. I, I hear you. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to heal your family. And I want you to keep your just keep your ears open for me and whenever I speak and say go pray for that person you do it and I just feel God is really strengthening um, your, your your faith like like a muscle like when you go and exercise and I just feel that's what God is doing in your life Jesus loves you so much Lydia and I really believe that this is going to be an exciting and really Holy Spirit um, healing year God loves you God bless you our next word is for Zanel I just heard how God is saying Psalm 46 verse 10, be still and know that I am God. I heard how God is telling you to wait. Um, I see like how God shows me that everything has to happen like fast and everything has to, it's like everything that I saw like is like fast, fast, fast. But I just saw like how God shows me that he wants you to slow down. I saw like how God shows me that while you're slowing down, how are you going to, how the the voice of God is going to be amplified for you. How are you going to hear the voice of God more directly more clearly and i just see like our god is showing me that while slowing down how growth is going to happen i see like how there's small details that you're missing because of your like i want to go there i want to do this i want to just like being too fast i see like our small details that you're missing and i see like our god wants you to focus on those those details he wants you to tell to like take the picture and color the picture the details that god wants you to, to add to the picture and i just feel like our god wants you to to i want to amplify what god says that he says wait be blessed yeah. thank you zanel for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for job job the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you this is a long word so i'm gonna make it short um okay i saw a picture of you as david now when david uh, stood before goliath he did not have any fear even for his own life but if you go back uh, a couple of years the road to preparation for him was quite heavy he fought with the bears he fought with the lions and i just see how he in his prayers these lions are coming and he's defeating them but sometimes it's a big challenge for him and he's wondering why is all of these things happening so bear with what is happening with you but your mindset must never be a one of defeat. Your mindset must be one of a strong character that God has built in you. So that when Goliath comes, you will not be afraid. You will stand strong 
and you will take his head, even if it's with his own equipment, that you will take his head for the kingdom of God. So don't focus on the negative things and have a defeated mentality. You must see what God has brought you through in order for you to stand strong in all of the battles that you're facing. Be blessed. Amen, John. Please leave us a comment. Thanks for this for Victor. Victor, the Lord chose me an awakening. The Lord chose me strength getting renewed. The Lord shows me dry bones um, coming out of the ground and just coming alive again. I hear the, the Lord shows me how he's just, he's just bringing you back to life and how he's calling out your name out of the tomb. Just like Lazarus, he called his name and he came out. I hear the Lord calling your name and, he, and you need to take the step. Lord, I hear your voice. I'm going to walk in, my, in, in this newness, in this born again life that I'm going to live. I just, I just hear this, the, the there needs to be a switch. There needs to be um, a light. And, and Jesus is that light. Turn on that light in your life and walk out of the tomb. Be blessed. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, uh, Victor. Uh, God bless you. Uh, family, um, uh, I'll just remind you one more time. Write your name in the comments uh, and I'll add you to a list. Um, I already made the list now for... Saturday and Sunday, so any more names that's get put on, that's on the list for Monday. So I'm just uh, sorting out my administration in between. So the next person I want to minister to is Luke Scott. All right, uh, uh, Luke, uh, the Lord is showing me the cattle and how the cattle is branded. Each one's got like a mark on them to show this is that belongs to that farmer. Uh, and the Lord shows me how He is going to give you your own. How He's going to bring you into a, a, a position of, of ownership. And just like a, a farmer that owns a lot of cattle uh, and he takes care of his cattle, he loves his cattle and he makes sure that they have all the conditions so that they can multiply. In the same way the Lord says, I'm going to give you business, I'm going to give you resources and I'm going to put you in a position where you love it. That's what you want to do. You feel you fulfill your calling, you're blessing people around you uh, and uh, I will bring multiplication and increase into your life just like a big cattle farmer has all this cattle so the Lord will be, uh, bless you with business and with uh, something that you really enjoy as your call God bless you Amen God loves you God bless you Luke um, Dad you can put my name on the list all right so the next <laughs> so the next person we're gonna pray for is Gail Gail God loves you so much and I saw a picture of an umbrella and this umbrella is the blood of Jesus who are covering over you and I just see how God is totally covering you with his love and he's saying to you you are safe you are under my protection I'm with you I am your covering and I just see how you walk through God and then and, and how the world tries to make you small and how the Lord makes you feel like like a giant because you're walking with his authority and with his grace and with his with his love and I just feel the Lord says the word that I have for you and the word that you're going to mess to going to sing over a lot of people you're going to speak over a lot of people is the word abundance I, I just felt the Lord says 2025 is going to be the year of abundance for you in your life abundance and joy abundance and love abundance and um, finances and I just feel the Lord says heaven is a very big place and I am a very very big God I'm your father I'm the one that's going to look after you and I just feel the Lord says the word for you is abundance God loves you God bless you our next word is for Frankie um, I just saw like how God showed me um, that you know sometimes in school kids like that bully other kids they like place like a tag or something on somebody's back without them knowing saying like loser or something nasty to that person and I just see like how God shows me that there's a tag on your back and God shows me like he takes off the tag and he like removes it he like totally restores your image and I just felt like our oh, God is saying this is restoration season for you mm -hmm. I see like our oh, God shows me that he washes you clean he takes away all the the negativity all the things that were spoken over you and he just washes it clean and then I see like how oh, Jesus come and he anoints your feet and I see like how oh, God shows me that the anointing that is on you is is like very very big and I just see like our oh, God shows me that like he, he like puts a crown on your head as well and you need to take the authority and you need to take up your kingdom as well because I see like how God shows me how your light starts to shine when you see 
and yourself the way God sees you. Be blessed. Thank you, Frankie, for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. The next word is for Johanna. Johanna, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a, a pin board with a lot of like almost like these crime scenes type of detectives wanting to figure out what is going on uh, but it's full of scripture and i just see how uh, it is connected to the word of god and there's topics that you want to know a lot more and i just see this board is going to help you tremendously because you're going to get a verse and you're going to say okay this fits in here you take another verse it fits in there and then when you think okay there's a lot on this board and when you start to go through it you're going to see tremendous revelations that you're going to receive from that because the lord's going to show you so it's going to start small and it's going to get bigger and bigger so i encourage you when you do your bible study or when you you are curious about something dig in deeper and write it on a board that's going to help you be blessed Aaron, Joanna, please leave us a comment. This nice word is for Annalie. Annalie, the, the Lord says that you are not just a receiver, but you are also a deliverer. Like you are someone who has, is delivering the message, is delivering this. And, and I hear the Lord saying that he has not called you to just to just sit still in the crowd, but he has called you to, to speak up. I, I just hear there is such an anointing on your, on your mouth to, to speak. The, the word of, fa of, of the Father and to speak revelation. And, and, and I hear just starting now, the Lord is going to start opening up new revelation for you. And that is going to be building up for a long, long time. And then I see one day you will be ready to share it. Be blessed. Hey. Awesome. Um, uh, Anneli, uh, God bless you. Um, uh, the Lord is really establishing you. Uh, don't feel you need to move. I just feel the way you are. It's like a lighthouse where the Lord, Lord is building and establishing you. God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Lucas. Um, Lucas, the Lord chose me sheep. And how are they all being dipped? And as they dipped all that um, lice and bacteria and things that's on the sheep from where they were and from the previous season gets washed off of them uh, and uh, they get that protection uh, so they don't get sick and that they can be strong and healthy to continue and I just feel the Lord is taking you and your wife and your whole family through the sheep dip and the Lord is cutting off the old the Lord says the old will not have an effect on your future but I will help you with the sheep dip to get rid of the, the, the old and then to walk in the, in, in the front and then the Lord shows me um, Jacob when he went to work for Laban so in the beginning uh, he had to take care of Laban's sheep and his goats and then eventually um, when they parted ways uh, he had a lot of his own sheep and goats uh, that he got because they had the arrangement how he could, could get at those animals and I felt that the Lord says you are going to be in a position of ownership and just like Jacob in the beginning he felt he wasn't uh, treated right but later on the Lord blessed him in the same way the Lord says I will bless you no matter what God bless you, Lucas. Amen. God bless you, Lucas. God loves you. This next word is for Edgar. Edgar, Edgar God loves you so much. And I, I saw a picture of how God is strengthening you at this time. And I just see how you come into the presence of God and how you just start to glow. And how um, there was a lot of things in your life that, you, that was dim and how the Lord brings light to it. And he, um, he, he sets a path for you. And I just feel the Lord says, I've called you to be a leader. And I just see how you're holding hands with your family and how God is going to bless your family and the connections and relationships that you have with your family. I just feel God is bringing a lot of healing for that. And I don't know if you're a writer or you if you write books or you're currently writing or, or learning something, but I just saw how you spend time in the presence of God and how you're just writing away um, the word of God, um, what God is saying to you, what's what um, why you, when you're trying to like figure out some things and God is just like speaking to you while you're writing. I just feel the Lord is really giving you a gift for writing in this time. I don't know if it's for a book or if it's for um, a now thing, but I just I really want to encourage you spend time in the presence of God and just write. God loves you. God bless you. Our next word is for Barnabas. Barnabas, God shows me how you he shows me like how you like a, a vine, and I see like how. When you start to grow, it's like uh, as soon as you grow longer, you connect to something that you can grab on. And then you grow again, then you connect to something else that you can grab on. And I just see like how God shows me, but 
by by connecting to different things and different different people different ministry how god shows me that growth happens and i just see like how by doing this as well how you're reaching out to other people how other people are are being being built up as well i see like how you're like a seed and your seed is going to other people and you're how you're allowing the holy spirit to work for you to so that other people can grow and i see like how god shows me that how he's opening up your heart and it's like almost he's like almost adding love into your heart so that everywhere you can go that you can give love to other people as well and i see like how this love that's inside of you how it creates restoration in other people's lives be blessed thank you barnabas for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for kushi kushi the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of on the on the beach where the stones and pebbles are laying there they are super clean but the waves are washing it constantly so that it shines and it's polished that is what the effect that the word has got on you now if you take the ocean the waves is actually very violent but when a lot of people look at the wave they find peace in their heart and i feel this is where you're currently at even though some days it looks like it's violent it's rough but yet you still find peace that is the cleansing effect that the word has got in your life so if you want more of that the more words you put in the more you're going to receive and i just say uh, pray lord i want to receive your peace in your word be blessed amen could she please leave us a comment on this next word is for florence florence uh, the lord chose me a chisel and 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 i hear the lord saying that I'm, i've called you to create something i've called you to create something new and i see um a um the lord has placed a log in front of you saying I've I've made this now I want you to to multiply it I want you to double it I want you to make it into something even more and I hear that and I just see how like okay this is what the Lord has given me I'm going to be a good steward and I'm going to work with this and I'm going to to build something that glorifies him I just see the Lord saying create create whether it is art or whether it is a business or whether it is a just something the Lord says create because that is what I have called you to do. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Florence, God bless you. Uh, hey, family, uh, we're ministering tonight to all 40 people and then we're going to have communion together. So if you would like, you can get some juice and bread or a cracker uh, or water and then you can, uh, we're going to minister once we finish with number 40, then we're going to all take communion together and it would be lovely for me if you can also do that with us. Okay, so Rachel, uh, the Lord shows me a launching pad, just like a airplane has a pad, place from where it uh, takes off or a helicopter has a place where there's that big H and it uh, can take off or even uh, someone that does a sport, they have a place from where they need to start and I felt that the Lord says that this is not practice time anymore. This is now the start time and you have started. And especially in 2025, you're going to see breakthrough after breakthrough and overcoming. And so 2024 is the year of the start. And 2025 is the year uh, of the fruit and the harvest in your uh, uh, life. And I you see that cycle is happening in your life. And so right now it's not ask questions now is obedience and vision so see the vision declare the vision and be obedient the lord will every day give you instructions it's also not a really for you a time of rest it's a time of just keep going and working god bless you amen god bless you michelle god loves you this next word is for dawn dawn i just see how god is decorating Sorry. your ears with earrings and it's beautiful and i just feel the lord says i want to decorate you with my love and i'm blessing what you listen to and i just feel how god is just singing songs of of love over you and that's his gift over you so i i just feel the lord says in the busyness and the hecticness of this world and i feel there's a lot of other voices that are very negative that are that are speaking around you and i just feel even if it's in the media um i just see how god is silencing that storm and how he's taking you to a place of peace and and song i feel that's what god is right now doing into in your life and i and i feel the lord is saying to you do not let fear stop you from singing and i i, I just feel god is called you to break off the chains of fear not only in your life but in a lot of younger people um, that you're going to minister you're going to talk to you're going to really be a leader in the 
their lives of telling them God's love is is greater than all fear. God's love breaks the chains of fear. And I just feel that's a song that you're going to sing over people. God loves you. God bless you, Dawn. Our next word is for Amanda Kutzer. Amanda, what I saw for you, I saw like how your hands and your feet is like suction cups that's like stuck to to like a wall or something like that and I just saw like our God shows me that those suction cups are starting to get loose now I feel like our God is saying this is the time to move on this is the time to to reach out and to to try try new things I see like our God shows me that how he's like giving you wheels how he's like making you move that you've been like stuck in one rut for a very long time and God is showing me that this is the time now to go into a new uh, a new gear that you need to go in a new direction so I feel like our God shows me lots of new things are coming and I just feel like our God shows me that he wants you to to broaden your vision he wants you to change your perspective I see like our God shows me that how lots of new things is gonna happen but lots of things that you don't really understand but I feel like our God shows me that when you stay focused on him when you stay tuned into his spirit how God shows me that new things will be, be will be reviewed will be revealed to you and how you'll start to grow in this new things and then your eyes will start to open and you'll see things differently and you'll see the things in the spirit that God wants you to see. Be blessed. Thank you, Ash Amanda, for being here tonight. Sorry. Please leave us a comment. No, 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 you're fine. Ashley, this word is for you. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Okay, the picture that I saw was you're standing in the rain. Now you have makeup on but your face is towards the sky and I just see how the the rain is taking away the makeup and I feel like the things that you had to put in place so that uh, you you almost like a mask that you can cope and that you can carry on I see how the blessings of God is washing it away like the rain would wash the the makeup away um, and at first you are concerned about what is happening but I see the more you trust the Lord the more it's washing away and the purity that God has placed inside of you comes to the forefront and now when that is there I see how people see the real you and the real you is actually what you need to be in the sense of you are strong you are able you are capable because God is in you always use your faith stand strong on your faith but allow the Holy Spirit to speak through you and I just see how a lot of things that doesn't make sense now will be rectified. Be blessed. Amen Ashley, please leave us a comment. This last word is for Sharika. I just hear uh, the word saying that you are such a blessing, that you are so, so wonderful. And the Lord just wants to remind you that you are loved, that you are appreciated, and, and that you are needed. And, and I hear the Lord saying also, you don't feel ashamed if you if you need to get back on to, to doing something or like spending more time or you were you know you were sl slacking for lack of a better word on spending time with the Lord the Lord saying that he knows your heart and that he has a lot of grace for you and and every time he is calling you and calling you to, to come and sp spend more time with him because even when you are spending a lot of time with him the Lord loves you so much he wants to spend a lot more time with you so I just hear the word saying have patience on yourself but also have obedience to the Lord who's just calling you in deeper and deeper um, to the Father's heart be blessed hey awesome thank you family it was wonderful for us to minister to 40 people tonight uh, so we want to take communion together right now so um, I got here uh, bread and I have uh, we using water tonight so we sometimes buy grape juice but my son Joel likes to drink up all the juice so then we ended up with water when we take uh, communion so but that is fine so um, what you can do for me is just the bread that you have just break it just as a, a symbol of how the body of Jesus was broken for each one of us and the Lord is bringing wholeness and healing to us and so just like the body of Jesus was broken for us we can make a trade. We can take all our challenges that we have in our lives and even our insecurities, uh, maybe about the future, about our children, about our health, about our finances, doesn't matter what it is, we can give it all to Him and then we can receive His life. And so the Lord wants us not to worry about tomorrow or to meditate on the things of, uh, of the past, but He wants us to be in a moment with Him focused on Him, experiencing Him, being led by Him, walking by faith. 
And so Gia said specifically, do not worry about the future. And so when we make this trade, we even trade our future. We say to the Lord, Lord, you know our future. And Lord, we want you to be in control. We want trust in you. We want you to su supply for us. And then we receive back from him again the wholeness that he gives to us. So let's do that. Father, uh, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for us on a cross. And so Lord, today we, we thank you for the body of Jesus that was broken for us. And just like we break, uh, broke this bread today, Lord, your body is broken. And Lord, we receive the wholeness that you give to us. Lord, we give to you our, uh, to you our insecurities, our worries about the future, uh, our bitterness about the past, and Lord, uh, sickness, uh, poverty, um, or even um, anxiety. Lord, we give it all to you. And Lord, right now we receive faith and life. And Lord, we say we're going to live and enjoy this moment where we are right now. This is a good moment this is a good time this is a time where we can be happy and rejoice and bless the lord and walk in the ways of god in his light in fellowship with him because he made a way for us and so lord we praise you for that and we receive that wholeness right now in the name of jesus you can eat this is the cup of the new covenant jesus thank you for your blood. And Lord, thank you that your blood speaks over us. And tonight, Lord, even as we receive the prophetic words, we know you have a lot more to speak over us. you got hours and hours of prophetic word to speak over each one. And Lord, we ask, Lord, that you speak to us. Give us dreams, visions. Lord, open up our spiritual ears that we can hear you. Give us encounters with you, Lord, so that we can hear your voice. And Lord, we want to tonight say, Lord, we give you a blank check. We come into agreement with what you are saying about our lives. And Lord, it is so wonderful to step into a covenant with you. And just like a, a bride and a, and a groom come together and they marry, Lord, tonight, Lord, we say we want to marry you and be one with you. So Lord, thank you for your blood. Thank you for this covenant. We receive it tonight in the name of Jesus. You can drink. Amen. Family. We love and appreciate each one of us, of, of you, and we love us. We love everybody. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> yeah, so uh, we just want to say thank you that each one of you come every week and you are part and you listen uh, and you comment and you pray for one another. It's so wonderful to have you be part of this community. Um, we're going to be back again Monday evening at 6 o'clock. If any one of you want the word or you know someone that wants, let them just come on a unity um, YouTube channel on any video doesn't matter which one and they just write their name there and we would love to minister them God bless you thank you for joining unity with heaven remember to subscribe like comment and join our newsletter if you want to support us please click on the PayPal link may God bless you abundantly remember you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.